Welcome back 643. The allergies you may be experiencing right now could be triggered by the wildfires that are still burning in and around the city of New Orleans that we've been telling you about. The biggest headache for the New Orleans Fire Department is the fire burning right now in a remote area off Chef Highway near Bayou Sauvage. So for some guidance on this and other health headlines, we are turning to our WWL Louisiana medical expert, Dr. Corey Abair. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And I was just telling you, I didn't even think about when it comes to allergies, but that's also why you have the degree and not me. Oh no, it's all good. I mean, at this point, everybody in this city has any type of allergy, mm -hmm. meaning so that's eczema, that's allergic rhinitis, or in New Orleans we call it sinus, right? Or, or, or asthma, rather. Mm. All these things are exacerbated by the smoke from this wildfire. Now, the thing that happens is that you inhale all of these particles and then they irritate the lining of the, uh, the nose as well as the lining of the lungs. And if you're a child, you breathe twice as fast and so your lungs are not as big, so it's worse. But the point is that it, what really gets on my nerves is that parents will always say, well, you know, my child is having these symptoms, mm -hmm. but then you look at the parent and they're having the symptoms too, and they're miserable. So if you have runny nose, cough, and congestion the same time every year, mm -hmm. just admit that you have a problem and that you need to get it taken care of. Adults <laughs> never like to admit they have problems. And so every time it, it, this, their allergies flare up, they just say, oh, well, I guess I just have a cold. You don't get a cold the first weekend in, in April every year mm -hmm. for the last 27 years, right? <laughs> it is an, a, a condition called allergic rhinitis, or as I said, sinus. So, but what you need to do really right now is you need to rinse your nose out with a, either a neti bottle or saline nasal spray. And if you have asthma, take your albuterol as needed, uh, speak to your physician. Maybe you have to put on, get uh, some medicine to prevent this, uh, which is usually a steroid. Uh, but you also, if you have allergic rhinitis, take your antihistamines. That would be your Claritin, your Zyrtec, mm. your nasal sprays such as uh, Flonase and these types of things. But take your medicine and try to stay out of uh, the outside, especially if you live in New Orleans East right now. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Moms and dads, we don't take care of you, ourselves. You, you, you just don't. And Calling okay. us out. Right, no, you're right. right. <laughs> you're right. We need to, right? You can't You can't fill another cup if you're as aimful. Exactly. Okay, so we've got another one here to talk about avocados. Yes. Yeah, so I'm a uh, big fan, but I like what I like. This is interesting. Yeah, everybody, you know, has got this big avocado thing. Believe it or not, in the ER, we've seen a lot of injury from avocado hand in the last uh, seven years. That's from <laughs> people just thinking that they can do the same thing at the Mexican restaurant. You know, like oh, just hit the avocado and then oh. take the pit out and they just cut their hand in that. Anyway, okay. point is, this avocado study shows that if you are eating avocados, you have a really good uh, uh, ability to increase mm -hmm. your blood sugar control. There's a, okay. a biomarker of avocado intake, and so the, the issue is that there's this little biomarker in the blood, this chemical that is made if you eat a lot of avocado. And what we mm -hmm. saw is that people that had this had a decreased fasting glucose, a decreased fasting insulin, and a decrease in type 2 diabetes. Now, you know, this is something that's not going to be uh, for everyone. I mean, not everyone is going to have this this uh, outcome, but the okay. point is that what it does do is that it allows us to have these biomarkers and it lets puts us on a good uh, road for research to say personalizing nutrition because we talk about this all the time. You have to treat your body like your car. You get your oil changed in your car mm -hmm. all the time. You change your tires, but you don't get your oil changed in your body. You got one body and you can get a hundred cars, but you only got one body, so you have to treat it per appropriately. You got to change the oil, you got to put in good gas, and that means vegetables and things of that nature, such as avocados, chia seeds, these types of things. We have 10 seconds left. Do you want to touch on aspirin and cancer? Look, if you are <laughs> aspirin, uh, decrease colon cancer, so please make sure you try to take some aspirin. If you do not have a history of GI bleeding, take mm -hmm. some aspirin. We'll talk about it next week. But also, if you are thinking, if you possibly have an heart attack, please chew an aspirin. Remember that. If you have an heart attack, chew an aspirin. Don't just swallow it. We'll talk about that next week as well. Chew it. Okay. Okay. We got teas for next week. That All right. Strong. Yes. Hey. You're gonna want it. You're gonna want to <laughs> hang out. Yeah. We should hire you, right? If you're just joining us and missed most of this conversation. Check our website. A little later, we'll have it available at WWLTV.com. And again, we'll have this up next week. So if you want to touch on all of this, we've got it for you.